I have to come up with a title for my HBO special, and as my parents, I thought you could help me. Robert Schimmel, Father Knows Breast. Breast? Father's, yeah. father's Knows Breast, yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, now. No. Robert Schimmel, Bed, Bath, and Beyond. No. That's... You are going to be sued for that. Okay. Robert it should Schimmel. be Bed, Breath, and Beyond. Breath? Breath. You know, breath. bad breath, yeah. Bad, bad. breath and yeah. beyond. Yeah. Yes. Bad breath, okay. that's yeah. good. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> All right. It doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. And the not not good either. Yeah. I ain't getting any. Yeah, well, that's everybody's story. Next. Shaving Ryan's privates. I like that. You like that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not shaving, shaving Ryan's privates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming soon. That's okay. Yes, it is okay. No, so? wait a minute. Coming soon or Robert Schimmel coming soon? Robert Schimmel coming soon. Yeah, yeah that you That's could... That's a wishful uh, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Robert Schimmel! Thank you so much. It is so great to be here in Kalamazoo, I can't tell you guys. I got in the other night, I checked into the hotel, it was about 11.15, they gave me one of those credit card keys. I stick it into the door, walk in, there's a guy in my bed, like in boxer shorts, this big guy, and he jumps out and he goes, hey, what the fuck? And I'm like, whoa! So I'm like, I run out of there and I go down to the front desk and I said, hey, I don't think that guy wants to share the room with me. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, shit, what if this guy called some like weird escort service and said, yeah, here's my fantasy. I want the front desk to give this guy a key to my room, right? Then when he comes in, I'm gonna act startled like he's breaking in and I'm gonna beat the shit out of him and then I'm gonna fuck him right on the floor. But he's gotta act like he doesn't want it to happen. Cause that's the way I like it. Cause you know that guy would be calling that escort service the next day going, I want the same guy again tonight. Not only was he good, he ran out so fast I didn't even get to pay him. And then they have those adult movies in the hotel that you can rent. They never show anything. It's always the guy naked down to here. Here's where the screen ends, and he's like, oh, yeah, you know how to suck it. I'm like standing on a phone book trying to look into the television. I think that's why they invented express checkout at the hotel, so you don't have to face the guy the next morning. Well, that was one night at $79, and how'd you like cockmongers? <laughs> there must be a mistake. I didn't rent that. Yeah, you want to see the video of you jacking off to that movie? <laughs> I just took my kids to uh, Disneyland in L.A. in one of these uh, nature marine park places, because they have these billboards all over. Come see fish in their natural habitat. And then you get there and they have clowns riding on the back of dolphins and whales jumping through fire hoops. Like, this is what you see when you go to the beach. And she wants to get something to eat, my daughter, and I take her to the snack bar, they serve filet of fish. What the fuck? What are these, the acts that screw up? What a threat to have hanging over you there. Hey, look, you missed the hoop one more time. You see your friend Louie on the grill over there? We're not fucking around over here. I don't care if you're a fish, get on the bike. <laughs> the bike or the grill. Why do they make animals ride bikes? I took my daughter to the circus. She said, Daddy, how do they teach a bear how to ride a bike? They said, it's easy. They nail his feet to the pedals and they beat the shit out of him. 
He's not riding, he's running. He just happens to be attached to the bike. My daughter wanted a pet, I got her a goldfish, I figured that would be easy, it died in like one day. But then you just flush it down the toilet, it's like the traditional burial at sea for fish. You can't do that with a dog or a cat. I mean, what if you didn't, it got stuck and then the rotor rooter guy came over. Yeah, I think I found the problem. You got a German Shepherd in your toilet. Can I use your phone for a minute? Then my daughter wanted a rabbit for a pet. I got her a rabbit. We had it for like three days. It started acting real sick and it's just laying around. And my wife goes, gee, maybe we should take him to the vet. I said, yeah, why don't you just let me take him for a drive? I'm gonna take a $5 rabbit to the vet. So we're at the vet. The vet wants to put the rabbit in the animal hospital for observation. I swear, I'm not making this shit up. We go to visit the bunny the next day. It's in an oxygen tent with an IV in its arm. And the guy goes, I have some bad news for you. Yeah, am I wearing an I'm an asshole t-shirt? Pull the plug now. I think we're looking at four potential keychains here, maybe. Then I bought my daughter a puppy, and we have the puppy, and I love my wife, she's so great, but you know, the dog shits in the house, she asked the dog if he did it. The dog's never gonna answer her. She goes, did you shit over there? I'm like, no, honey, Aunt Rose shit in the kitchen. She actually drags the dog over to show him the shit. I don't do that, the dog already knows he's shit. You drag him over, they piss all the way over to where the shit is. That's why you gotta trick them. You gotta act like you don't know he's shit and block their view of it and go, hey, where's my little buddy? Hey, come here. Hey, hey, what the fuck's that right over there? I got mad. I wanted to hit him. She said, no, don't hit the dog. That's cruel. You rub his face in the shit. That's how you do it. I said, yeah. Let's ask him which one he wants. Rub his face in the shit? What if it's like a Doberman or a Rottweiler or something? Hey, did you shit over there? Yeah, you got a problem with that? No, it's a nice looking shit. And on the rug, too, just the way I like it. Do you need your balls polished while I'm here? My wife wanted a cat for a pet. She said, cats are better than dogs. When a dog has to shit at three in the morning, they wake you up, you gotta get up, let the dog out, wait till he's done, let him back in, go back to sleep. Cats, they have their own little box. They're so smart, you could actually teach them to go on the toilet. Yeah, great, when you have to go and the cat's in there. How long are you gonna be, huh? Fuck it, where's the box? And then you use the box and your friends come over and go, what do you got, a mountain lion for a pet here? Oh, he eats a lot. What do you, feed him corn? Isn't that weird that corn comes out like that? Why bother eating it? Why not just dump it right in the toilet and eliminate the middleman? So what else is happening? My wife and I just had a, a brand new baby and, uh, oh yeah. Uh, no, you don't have to clap. I didn't pull out in time.